You ladies want to meet MGK? I'll hook it up. Shaq will hook it up. I'll hook it up. They spent the night outside. Yeah. And they have hotel rooms. Yeah, they did. Hey, it's uh, Carmax one-on-one. Um, Jalen Brunson, a first-time All-Star for the New York Knicks, averaging about 28 points a game. Wow. You see the highest scoring averages in New York franchise that's big. The history. great Bernard King. That's, yeah. why, that's why I wore number 30, Bernard King. I, I thought that was John King. Aaron and no. Mello and... Patrick, and then Jalen Brunson, who was getting an awful lot of support for uh, his All-Star bid. If Brunson don't make the All-Star team, I'm not working. We'll talk, we'll talk about the All-Stars in just a second. As I'm a not going to Indianapolis. I'm going to stay home. Y'all need to stop it with the Jalen Brunson stuff. That guy should be yeah, that is crazy. way up there. Beware. He should be at least second. Stop it. You stop what? I would have loved to see Jalen Brunson be a starter. I can't believe what a great player he's turned into. When he went to the Knicks last year, I was like, that's a good signing. It's one of the best signings I've ever seen for a free agent. Oh, I was hoping I got this one. From the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson. Hey, uh, first first all-star all -star. appearance. And so, should be in the MVP yeah. conversation. Yeah, and so Jalen Brunson, now you have to go to All-Star Weekend. Yeah, I thought was, Jalen wasn't going, I wasn't going. Go. An all-star for the very first time in his career, the leader of the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson. Mixed reviews. Not exactly the same Indiana. reaction that Reggie Miller received yeah, moments ago. Yeah. The Knicks against Indiana, that's a tough crowd. Tough crowd. Appreciate you. How you doing? What's up, what's up? Congrats, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, dude? Ooh. Well, Jalen, I guess this is feeling real now. But you're an all-star here in Indianapolis, and let's go. Yeah, it's feeling real. That was a, that was a very warm welcome. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a warmer one than you get when you, than when you play here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll say this. Uh, Indiana fans, you know, y'all are, are real passionate, man. Y'all are a great fan base. I'll give y'all that. Y'all are a great fan base. Hey, the, the night that you were announced as a reserve and Kenny did the honors, you guys had a game that night. So how did that play out? Were you able to, to see that before you took the floor or, or how were you made aware that you were an all-star? Uh, I didn't, so the TV was on in the other room. I, I didn't watch it. I was uh, trying to get my mind right for the game. And um, yeah, we ran out onto the court and now uh, I started hearing couple of fans yelling some stuff and then I saw my dad walk out and he like looked at me and nodded so then um, that's when I really knew so uh, that, was, that was a good moment for us. Speaking of your father I, I recently saw how he trained you and how he you know, prepared you for this moment right here. How excited was he when you was announced as an all-star? I, I think he was excited. He didn't show me how, how excited he was but uh, I always hear the snippets from my mom when he goes back uh, home with her and he'll I, I, I just knew that deep down he, he was he was feeling happy. But uh, I mean, we had a game that day, so he was we were locked in. But uh, I know he's happy. Well, let me give you let me give a, a commentary then, because I've had the pleasure, guys, of watching him when he was in high school playing with the Mac Urban Fire, and I should sit next to your dad in the stands when you were like ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade, and he, and he was always so praising about what would could become. And I used to watch you. I'm not gonna lie. I used to watch you and go, man. How does a guy with that physical ability, you know, he doesn't have the genetics of, the, of Shaq or Charles or whatever, just every time I see him, he wins. I'm like, all right, gets to college. Villanova, you win national championship. 2016. Man, I mean, against, against. You know, <laughs> South Carolina. So I'm like, this guy, all he does is win. So then he goes, and then when the draft comes and you go in the second round, I'm like, man, maybe they see what I saw. Maybe he just physically isn't, and then you all you do is win. So this guy is the most remarkable winner since I've seen you in, in, in high school. Every year I've seen you, you've won. You've won from the EYBL circuit. You've won in high school, you're state champion, college. And I predicted, I wrote it now, New York and Boston in the Eastern Conference Final with Indiana knocking on the door next year.
<laughs> well, uh, was there a question I, I, in there somewhere, Kenny? No, 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 that was a comment. Oh, okay. I that, appreciate that, it. About it, how, it, how proud it. his dad is. That was a, that you was know, a comment. You know, Jalen, we're here in Indianapolis, and these are tremendous fans. Mm. And tremendous fans. But in my day, playing in New York against Patrick Young and those guys, when the garden's on fire, it's nothing like it. Nothing like it. As a guy like it. who had played there all these years, now you the star there. What's it like to play in New York when the, when the crowd is on fire? Um, there's no other place I'd rather play. That place is unbelievable. Uh, when it's when it's rocking, when, uh, when it's the fourth quarter, I mean, you just you feel the energy, you feel the electricity in that arena. Um, there's just no other better place to play sports, let alone basketball, yeah. sports. You know, when you, I, I will ask a question. What was the key? Hey, we don't go to one, two, three, four. We no, no, yeah, no. We, 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 we already got a question in. But we talk about your rise to excellence in the NBA. What was the key moment that made the transition when we saw you in, in Dallas, then jump to New York and really take that next step? What are the key things that happened and made it happen for you? Um, I think the key moments for me really is just every day you're just you're, you're taking it step by step. It, it wasn't really like obviously the playoffs in Dallas so that was a huge opportunity, but um, I mean every day I work and work and like like I'm trying to be the best player I could be, knowing my role when I was in Dallas, and then obviously when I got to New York I knew my role would be increased a little bit. So um, I was always working and having that mindset no matter when I was on the court, and then, um, obviously when the opportunity came knocking I'll be ready for it, but. Uh, my mindset first is be a good teammate and uh, play my role to perfection and uh, but keep working as hard as I can to be the best player I can be. Hey, oh. guys, do me a favor. Can you put that stat back up there? I mean, this, Jalen, I know you play. Yeah, it's great. Fun, it's plus it's fun hey, watching no, the Villanova no, 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 Knicks. It's, I mean, the it's, New York it's Knicks. unbelievable. <laughs> first of all, you're playing great. Look at this, man. Yeah, those guys. That, that's a, Come on, man. That's an incredible. That, that is crazy right there. Of guys. Hey, man, that's that's incredible right there to be on the list with those three guys, man. Because all three of those guys in the Hall of Fame, and for you to be on that list, that, man, that tells us how play, great you're playing. So, Jalen, right now you guys are in the fourth spot. So what do you think you guys need to do to, you know, make Kenny's prediction come true, you guys versus the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals? Uh, most importantly, get healthy. Uh, get everyone back, not 100%. Um, not be complacent. No, I think what made us really hungry last year is everyone kind of kept knocking us a little bit, saying just we're good, but I don't know we have it. But uh, I think for us, recently we've been getting a lot of publicity. Now we've been playing well to, uh, to this day, but uh, we just can't be complacent. We can't be satisfied with what we've done six, I mean, um, two thirds of the way through the season. And now uh, you got to continue to keep working. Just have that mindset. We're hungry every single step of the day. You, you talk about getting healthy. What's the prognosis for Julius and OG? I'm gonna use a uh, famous Tibbs line. You're gonna have to ask medical. <laughs> you go. Good answer. Hey, I want to go back several years. So you grow up with a with a dad who's playing in the league. Yeah. Uh, but for some of his career, you were just a, you were just really small. Yep. I guess you were probably nine or ten when he retired. I guess. I was ten. But what were your best What were your best memories? You know, going to the gym with him. What did he? What was his best uh, advice for you at that age as an NBA player? I would say when I was younger, uh, watching my dad you know, work um, consistently, it was really cool. I got to see him play. You know, I got to see him work out on his game. Got to see him lift. I got went to go ride my bike around the track while he ran, and so I got to see all that at such a uh, such a young age but not really understanding why he's working so hard. Right. And so as I got older and wanted to play in the NBA, um, my dad started the training and I realized, man, like this dude used to work this hard and he was on eight, nine unguaranteed contracts in the NBA for nine years. And um, as I got older, I knew I had to work twice as hard just to be able to get there. So just seeing that, that's, that was my biggest takeaway. Oh, you're a much better player than Rick. Come on, Rick. You know, he, he, he gave yeah, it to yeah, you. Yeah. Hey, Rick, you were supposed to be a defender and a playmaker. He would, yes, son would give it to you. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, would no, give no, it no, to you. Don't no disrespect, Rick. Yeah, this is the best player in the family right now. <laughs> hey, you're in the, you're in the three-point uh, contest as well. So uh, we take a look at the field here, and you're, and you're one of these eight. And, I mean, have you... 
Have you been shooting off racks or anything like that? Or are you, are you a couple times? Yeah. A couple times, yeah. Um, I'll be ready to go. I'll be ready to go. I, my focus. <laughs> I love Julius. My focus is just to beat his score from last year. That was terrible. That was terrible. I love you, Ju, but I, I got to beat that. That's, all, that's my only focus. That's my only focus. You know, as you, as you come into your first All-Star, what is the one thing that you're most looking forward to? I don't know. I told, like, I told myself in the NBA, when, I, when I'm in the league that I would never come here unless I was invited. And so, um, no matter what, no, no matter what the situation was, like I was going to come to All Star when I was an All Star, and um, never really told anybody that. Kind of kept it to myself, but uh, I think just finally being here and uh, holding my word to that—that's special to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, have you? The worst thing about the All Star game as as a player, <laughs> have you got the price tag on those tickets yet? And how many people did you bring? Yeah, I got the price tag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, you have to pay truck. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to pay for tickets. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that luxury, so I got to pay for mine. <laughs> I had to pay for mine too. And how many? How many you folks? Pay for real truck? Yeah, I think about ten. Oh, I think about ten. Oh. That's yeah, a big yeah, number, yeah. man. Right. Right. I hope you have a great, uh, a great weekend. Thank Saturday you so much. With the three point and Sunday in your first All Star game. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no! Look at that. There you go. Yes. Look at me. That's what I'm talking about, man. God, let's just get the show on the road. That's what I'm talking about. That's the truck. Come on, man. See, I was going to bring it up, but I mean. No, nah, man. I was looking at that man like, let me go home. <laughs> oh, she's a maniac. <laughs> we came back with team redemption the next year, though. Team redemption. <laughs> Jalen Brunson, our guest here in Indianapolis. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Back with more on TNT NBA tip off presented by CarMax in just a second. <laughs> 